Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be making zucchini bread, a little lesser known of the vegetable breads. Are there other vegetable breads? I don't know. Make sure you like and subscribe and hit the little bell so you get notified every time we have awesome new recipes and DIY projects for you. Here's everything you need to get started and the full recipe and ingredients will be down below. First, we're gonna preheat the oven to 350. Next, we're actually gonna grate up about a cup of zucchini unpeeled. I'm gonna use the bigger side, but you can also use a finer tooth for your grater. Yes, it always gets everywhere. Almost a full zucchini. So that's done. We're gonna just put this into a small bowl. And to our shredded zucchini, we're going to add a cup of sugar and a quarter cup of oil. I'm using sunflower oil, but you can use whatever kind of cooking oil you prefer. Ideally not olive oil because it will kind of mess with the flavor a little bit. And an egg. And we're just gonna mix this all up. We're gonna set this aside and mix up our dry ingredients. To start, we need a cup and a half of flour. About a teaspoon of cinnamon and a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. I'm gonna eyeball it because I like a lot of cinnamon and a little bit of nutmeg, so. You can do more or less to taste. Now we're gonna add a half teaspoon of baking soda, a half teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. Teaspoon of baking soda, half teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. Okay, I'm just gonna mix these all together. Now you're gonna add the zucchini and an egg mixture into your flour, and then just mix. I'm just gonna grab my loaf pan, grease it up, and pop that into it. And now we're gonna pop this in the oven for about 50 to 55 minutes at 350 degrees until a toothpick comes out clean. All right guys, it's been about an hour, so let's pull out the zucchini bread and see if it's done. The easiest way to check if it's cooked through is to take a wooden toothpick and to insert it right into the middle and pull it out. If it's clean, it's done. If there's gooey, uncooked bits, put her back in the oven. This one's perfect. I hope you enjoy your zucchini bread. Let me know in the comments below if you tried it and what you thought. Make sure you like and subscribe and hit the little bell for notifications on future recipes and DIY videos. Thanks for watching. Bye!